So you've got a cupboard door. You've got a blank that maybe you picked up at your local hardware store or craft store. Or you've got a project already made that you'd like to machine into it a one of our bar relief models or one in your, your library that you already have. Well, how do you go about doing that? If you're a seasoned um, pro at um, ArtCam Jewel Smith or ArtCam Pro or um, Aspire, then you probably already figured out how to do that, create a dish and a drop in your relief. But if you're not a seasoned user and if you have a piece of software like ArtCam Express where it's not quite that easy and um, the result might be a flat bottom dish opposed to be a nice little round contour to the bottom, then you're kind of out of luck. So this little mini project, our Dish Shapes number one mini project, will give you a good start on uh, having some great uh, dish shapes and also have a nice little piece of clip art that you can use um, to run some test pieces and see how well this works. Um, so what's going to follow here is uh, three short segments. Um, the first one will be ArtCam Express, the second one will be ArtCam, the full-blown version, and then the third will be um, Aspire. And in all of the videos, I'll show you how to set up your material um, and how to position the models properly in the material. We won't talk too much about tooling because that's different for everybody, but um, this will give you a good s step in the right direction. Okay, here we go. This is ArtCam Express 2012. So what we're going to do is I am going to create a new model and we're going to do the setup here. So it's going to be in millimeters and we're going to set it up to be um, 150 millimeters by 150 millimeters by 10 millimeters. And we're going to say that our zero planes at the top and the model position is at the top of the board as well. And that's important because we're going to be machining this below the zero plane of your project. So we're going to click OK and our cam will generate us a nice little workspace. And then we're going to drag in from our desktop um, the dish shape that we have. This is the round dish shape. We're going to press F9 and it's going to center it. So if we look in our 3D view here, you're not going to be able to see anything because it is actually underneath your zero plane. And you can see it right there right now. So what we're going to do is we are going to take that and we are going to go to our 2D view. Make sure that we have that selected. We're going to press T on the keyboard. And we are going to, all of this information is irrelevant right now for this little demo, but for right now we're going to make this circle be um, 125 millimeters round. And we're going to make it 5 millimeters deep. We're going to click Apply. And then we're going to scoot to the bottom and make sure everything else is fine. This all looks great. And then we are going to paste this down. Now here's one important note. You are adding this to your project. You're not merging highest. If you merge highest right now, then what you're going to end up doing is merging it away. It will actually go away. So we are going to change this by clicking on it twice. You see that this is set to add, which is a little plus sign in the corner here. And we're going to select paste. So if we flick to our 3D mode, you'll now see that our dish is there below the zero plane. So let's drag in our daisy here. There's our daisy and we're going to flip to our 2D view and we're going to take that and we're going to grab one of these corner uh, control nodes and we are going to just drag it in so it's smaller than 125 millimeters. So let's just, let's just type in some numbers here to make life easy. Uh, 100 and 10 millimeters round. We're going to make sure the Z height of it, it has to be a little bit less than the depth of your dish. That way, if there's any, any anomalies in the top of your wood or anything weird about it, then it won't affect the actual top of your model because you want this to be machined below your zero plane. So we're going to change that to be 4.95 millimeters. We're going to click apply. Press F9 to center it. And then we are going to slip down to the bottom here and we are going to paste that into our model. And it was added in. And now you can see that we have our daisy in a dish below our zero plane. And now we can machine this into whatever project you'd like.
This is ArtCam 2012. So um, to start off with, we're going to create a brand new model. We're going to make this 150 by 150 in millimeters, and your pixel density can be whatever you think is fit. I always go with around 4 million points. So we're going to select OK, and ArtCam will generate us a nice little workspace. I have a custom layout for my icons, but we're not going to be using too many of those anyway, so it's not so important. So we'll flip to our 3D view. Everything looks great. What we're going to do is we're going to drag in our dish shape. And we'll flip to our 3D view, and there it is. Now, you'll see that you can't see it. Well, it's below your zero plane. Right? You see that you pull it out, you can see it outside of your workspace. So we're going to press F9. And also, if I, if I turn this up, you'll see that it's actually underneath my zero plane, which is what we want to do, because this zero plane is actually the top of your wood, or will be when you go to do your material setup. So what we're going to do, we're going to select that. We're going to press um, T on the T keyboard, excuse me. We're going to set this to be uh, 120, sorry, 125 millimeters round, 5 millimeters deep. We're going to click Apply. We're going to scroll to the bottom, make sure all these settings are correct. And then we're going to make sure that our paste um, mode is going to be set to plus. So click this twice and you'll see this little plus sign in the corner. And we're going to hit paste. If we used merge highest by mistake, then you would paste it and it would go away and all you'd have is just a vector because it's merging into your model below the zero plane and so it just goes away. And that's not what you want. You want to make sure you add it into your model. So here we go. We have our dish now into our model. So now what we can do is we can drag in our daisy relief. Perfect. And we're going to work right here with our, all of our controls right off the bat. It's centered. Uh, if you don't think it is, we're just going to press select it, and we're going to press F9, and that will recenter it again. Press T on the keyboard. That gets us to our transform mode. And then we're going to change this to be a little bit smaller in diameter than our dish. So let's say it's going to be 110 millimeters round. We need to make it slightly less Z height than the dish is deep. So our dish is 5 millimeters deep, so we're going to make this 4.95 millimeters. We'll click Apply, and our daisy will change shape. We'll just scroll down to the bottom, and then because this is ArtCam um, Pro 2012, or Jewel Smith, then we can actually paste this to a new layer if you need to, and if not, you can paste it to exactly the same layer as long as you've got the um, it's being added to the layer. So we're going to paste it. And there we now have the daisy below the zero plane. And now what we need to do is we need to set up your material setup. So we're going to click on tool paths. We're going to click over here on set up our material. And this is where everything is going to kind of come into play. Right now our material is set to 5 millimeters. Well, the chances are pretty good your material is actually 10 millimeters. You want to make sure that your zero plane is, uh, assuming your material zero is at the top, and your model position is at the top of your wood because you want it to be just below the surface of your wood. You can click OK, and now you'll see that ArtCam creates this virtual piece of material, that's the blue space, and your model is actually sitting below the surface of your model, or the surface of your material, so now you can just generate your tooling, and off you go. This is Aspire version 4, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new file, and we're going to set up to be 150 by 150 by 10 millimeters thick. This is your material thickness. I want to make sure your zero is at the top of your project. Um, the datum can be in the center of your wood. We're going to work in millimeters, and the modeling resolution I choose very high, but you can use whatever is suitable for your PC. We're going to click OK. And so um, we have Aspire set up a nice little workspace for us. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drag in our dish. It'll bring in a grayscale of the dish and, of course, the 3D model. So we're going to press um, uh, F9 to center it. Go back to our 3D view for a second. And we are going to pull this up on this edge. And you'll see that Aspire puts our dish below the zero plane of your model, of your, of your work surface here, or of your zero plane. And then we're going to pull in your um, your daisy, and we're going to drop it in there. And we're going to press F9 again, and we're going to center it. And then we're going to actually going to grab the corner here of your daisy, and we're going to hold down the Shift key while we do that, and it's going to scale it for us in proportion. So we're just going to 
fit it into our dish area. We can flip to our 3D view if you'd like. And you'll see that our daisy is now in the center of our dish, but it's a little bit too thick to fit inside of our dish. So we're going to go to our modeling and double click on our daisy. And we're going to make sure that we set the shape height to be um, 4.95 because our dish is 5 millimeters deep. And we are going to go ahead and click close. And now what we should be able to do is if we, scale, we rotate up on this, our daisy is below the zero plane. And now we're ready to go ahead and machine this into the top of your project. There you have it. I hope that helped. Um, if you have any comments, please leave them either in our shop notes section on uh, cncmediaprojects.com or leave them just below in the comment section here and we'll be sure to address them or update the video if need be. Okay, anyway, thanks a lot. Happy see you seeing and let the chips fly. This video has been Weekend CNC Warrior approved. Ah, oh, got through that without my dog barking. That's great.